17 most bizarre aircraft. Number 17, the Flying Pancake. This V-173 was given the nickname the Flying Pancake for its bizarre design that simply looks like a pancake. Zimmerman designed a model that was an electrically controlled aircraft that did not have conventional wings and was a disc-shaped fuselage for lifting. In 1940, the US Navy was taking the design seriously because it didn't need a runway to take off. In 1942, the 173 was manned and reached 100 miles an hour. The plane flipped over during a landing test, but the pilot miraculously survived. Number 16. Lockheed Martin P-791. This aircraft almost looks like a flying brain or something. This is actually considered a tri-hole shaped hybrid airship and is supported by an aerodynamic lift. This was designed by the US Army but was modified to be more of a cargo aircraft and can lift up to 1800 kilograms or 20 tons. Let's hope they don't put this thing on the battlefield. Looks like it would be an easy target. Number 15, the Scale Composites White Knight 2. This bizarre plane was designed in 2007 to 2010 as a two-stage suborbital manned launch system. The plane is multi-operational but is often used at high altitudes. They plan to further test this design and want to have it detach a spaceship while it's flying. Number 14, McDonnell XF-85 Goblin. Imagine keeping a small airplane inside another airplane and dropping it instead of a bomb. That's what the Americans had in mind when they designed this aircraft known as a parasite fighter. This idea didn't really seem too useful, however the army did decide to melt them down and they weren't put to use. They were more focused on designing something that could refuel the bombers instead of a mini plane. Still a cool concept either way. Number 13. H-4 Hercules II, Spruce Goose. Imagine getting into a 200-ton glider that was completely made of wood. This was the largest transport seaplane carrier and saw action after World War II. It was designed by the filmmaker Howard Hughes. There's only one in existence and it's in a museum in Oregon today. The Grumman X-29. This experimental American aircraft was tested in 1984 and is unique from its bizarre aerodynamic design. Two of these models were flown by the United States Air Force while the other was flown by NASA. These were tested for about a decade before they both decided that they didn't really want to use them. The wings have reverse angles and it's a miracle these things even fly. Number 11. NASA AD-1. This seems to be one of the strangest planes ever developed by NASA, and the design is at least 40 years old. The design was created in the 1970s to test the purpose of pivoting wings. It was also given the name Scissor Wings and is a revolutionary concept. The entire wing can rotate over the fuselage. This plane is mostly used for weather detection and to test out how pivoting wings might be useful in a new aircraft. Number 10. Scaled Composites Model 281 Proteus. Burt Rutan designed the thin-winged aircraft that was tested in the 1990s. They believe that this plane would most likely be used in high-altitude communications. This design turned out to be quite successful and was flown over 65,000 feet for 18 hours straight. Due to further developments in unmanned aircraft, this plane turned out to be useless. Still looks cool though. Number 9. Sikorsky S-72. This experimental hybrid helicopter airplane aircraft was designed by Sikorsky Aircraft Company and could reach a top speed of 230 miles per hour. It's an interesting design and a smart concept, however the program was cancelled in 1988, but not before being considered by NASA and the US Army to have potential. Number 8. The Stipa Caproni. Also known as the Flying Barrel, this experimental Italian aircraft took flight in 1932 and reached a top speed of 81 miles per hour. It seemed to be a little bit thicker than the aircraft we know of today and was basically shaped like a barrel that covered the propeller. It was called the N2 propeller design originally. The Italians claimed it to be the airplane of the future, shown it on several science magazines. The design turned out to be a little bit difficult for pilots to change direction. Number 7. Avro Canada VZ-9 Avrocar. The Avrocar was designed by a Canadian aircraft company and was part of the US's secret Air Force project. This might have been the reason people claimed to have seen flying saucers near Area 51. This disc was a flying saucer hoping to be a revolutionary device that wouldn't need a runway to take off. The aircraft was unable to hover like they had planned and before modifications could be achieved, the funding ran out in 1961. The USA lost all hope that they would have a flying saucer in their arsenal. However, this thing did fly for about 75 hours, which is quite intriguing. Number 6. The Hyper 3. Hyper 3 is an aircraft designed by NASA, specifically designed to lift. It doesn't really fly even though it has a pair of wings and is a remote controlled aircraft. It also has a rudder and hinge elevons on the vertical surface. The first Hyper 3 was launched from a helicopter at 10,000 feet. It glided 5 kilometers, made a 180 degree turn and landed. Number 5. Blom & Voss BV-141 
This German World War II tactical recon aircraft featured an unconventional cockpit on the right side of the aircraft and just looks extremely wrong. It was never demanded for full-scale production since the pilots preferred being in the middle. Several of these aircrafts were found wrecked when the Allied soldiers came across them during the invasion of France, most likely from failed testing. Number 4. The Dornier Doe 31. This West German experimental jet transport aircraft was built in the 1970s and was supposed to be one of NATO's cutting-edge technologies during the Cold War. Its needle-nose design made it look pretty cool, but it turned out the planes were too expensive to build. Also, the complicated design made it hard to mass-produce. Only three were built, but one is non-operational. The two active prototypes were held at museums in Germany. It was still the first vertical takeoff plane design and could have held 36 soldiers or 24 casualty stretchers. Number 3. Northrop XB-35 Does it have enough propellers? This experimental bomber was developed by the United States Air Force shortly after World War II. This design turned out to be rather effective and was dubbed the Flying Wing. This was what came out when the government demanded an aircraft that could carry 5 tons of bombs, make a round trip of 10,000 miles, and reach a max speed of 450 miles per hour. So this aircraft basically had some serious firepower on board, and appears to be a precursor for the stealth bomber. Number 2. Soviet BBA-14. As America was developing their fair share of bizarre aircraft, the Soviets were trying to come up with their own innovative designs as well. In this photo, we see an abandoned anti-submarine aircraft that was built by the Soviets to have dominance of the submarines in the oceans. It was designed as an amphibious vehicle that could take off on water at high speeds. The first prototype was built in 1972 and took off from a conventional runway. Only one of these rare aircrafts exists and it's outside at a Russian Air Force Museum. And number one, the Predator Drone. The Predator Drone is the most active yet bizarre aircraft we have in use today. This was designed by the US Air Force and has been used in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bosnia, Serbia, Yemen, and during the Libyan Civil War. It's NATO's go-to recon aircraft and is an unmanned aircraft. This is proverbial since it's commonly going into dangerous locations. It looks quite a bit different than your average airplane and can reach speeds of 135 miles per hour. Some of these are even armed with missiles. Looks like something out of the future. 